Hi, everybody. It's Dr. Eric Corum, founder of AIM7. Welcome back to The Blueprint, where we distill cutting-edge science, leadership, and life skills into simple tactics optimized for your busy lifestyle and goals. One of the goals I set out for myself for the new year was to improve my heart rate variability. My HRV was slowly going down from September through December, and it kind of bottomed out around 37 milliseconds. That was my average for the month of December. Now, there's a lot of factors that led into that, and I wanted to improve my HRV, and so focus more on sleep and some other things. Well, here we are over halfway through the year, and now my average HRV for the month of June was 51 milliseconds. I went from 37 to 51, and it's been like a steady, slow increase for the past six months. And I can't say 100% that this is the reason why it's gone up. But as I've taken some time to reflect, I think the reason my heart rate variability has improved and also my subjective perception of my mood and the peace I have in my life is just a greater sense of thankfulness and gratitude. It has not been an easy six months by any stretch of the imagination. There's been a lot of very difficult things that have happened. But every morning I've been getting up, not every morning, I'd say like Five days out of the week, I get up early and then I go walk. And during that walk, I'll pray and reflect. And I've just kind of noticed recently that what was happening during that time is I was just being thankful, thankful for the weather, thankful for my family. You know, I have a Christian faith. It's very important to be thanking God for the life he's given me, even just like taking in the darkness, looking at the moon just really trying to be present. And it's early. It's like 530 in the morning. And I would walk for 30 to 45 minutes sometimes. And then I come back and then I would usually take a shower and then have some coffee and then head up. And that's when I usually do my Bible study. So I'm spending like an hour to an hour and 15 minutes in the morning being thankful and reflective. And then I started noticing throughout the day, I'm just not as reactive when things don't go wrong. Well, the literature shows that when you practice gratitude, like while you're actually journaling, okay, like you're doing a gratitude journal, there is an acute increase in HRV. Why is this? Researchers believe that because of these positive emotions that you're experiencing, because if you do gratitude correctly, you should sit there and Let's say you want to remember something. There's something called the Big Three Gratitude Journal. We actually have this in the AIM7 app, but it's like, I'm going to remember the best thing that happened today or yesterday, right? Like a great moment. And then you kind of think about that moment and then you should actually try to feel those emotions that that has a positive impact on your autonomic nervous system, which increases parasympathetic tone, which increases your HRV. Now, The research is inconclusive about the long-term benefits of gratitude. I should say the long-term impact of gratitude on HRV. But that's the only thing that I can really think about that's changed is like I'm anchoring every day for a very long period of time in thankfulness. And then also I'm trying to be more present in the moment at home. When I'm with my kids, I'm not always perfect with this by any stretch of the imagination, but noticing that special things are happening. My four-year-old yesterday is playing with blocks. Sorry, not blocks, playing with Legos. And I'm just watching him play with the Legos. I'm like, this is so cool. The Lego character he had had this little metal detector. And he's like, I didn't know he knew what a metal detector was. He goes, look, it's a metal detector. And then we were messing around with that. And I'm just putting my hand on his back and just like soaking in the moment. The point of all of this is that I really think the condition of your heart is going to impact your health in a very profound way. For me, it starts early in the morning. And I think that if I start right, that I have a better shot at finishing the day well. Not every day is great. The circumstances of the day don't have to dictate my joy because joy is something that's internal. Happiness is something that's external. Maybe we got an investor that day. And instead of just like, man, like, or we got new customers or, 
we got a really great story from somebody about how AIM-7 impacted their life or whatever it may be, instead of like that determining my joy, it's like, I actually am starting to be like, wow, take a moment and be thankful for that. I used to find myself like something great would happen. And then it's like, next, you just kind of move on. But like, wow, I'm going to take a moment and really sit in this and be thankful. Because as an entrepreneur, it's kind of a joke that you're going from like valley to valley, not peak to peak. But I just, I don't know. I was just reflecting on this today as I was going through these trends of kind of looking at what I've accomplished for the first half of the year. This was one of my goals. And I saw this upward trend and I started thinking about what have you changed? That's really all I can go back to. So my encouragement for you is find a way to deliberately engage in gratitude or having a thankful heart. And it could start small. I'm not saying everybody's got to wake up in the morning and go on a long walk and list out the things they're thankful for, but take some time, try to be present. It could change your life. Thanks for joining me on this journey. We've been going at this for almost four years. It's pretty wild. I'm really thankful for the fact that you're listening to this. And I hope that in some way, this is positively impacting your life. Hope you have a happy and safe 4th of July. God bless.